Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm back with another reaction for Behumit. We This time we have episode 3. I missed out on episode 2, but I'm back for this reaction and I'm going to try to do a review afterwards. So, let's go. Wait. <clears throat> oh, big brother. Tuh. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Full of females. <laughs> probably quite unrefined. <laughs> yeah, think. This reminds me heavily of Trinity 7. Still, you guys gotta look up that anime. <laughs> they shot they. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, the food is there, I mean, damn. How come he can't eat it? Hell yeah. You know this is one piece, like, Luffy would have been ate all that food. <laughs> there you go. Damn. And she's still on the sideline. <laughs> Competition? What the hell? Oh, wow. <laughs> Possession. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Possession. <laughs> it's like, all right. Episode three, the Lady of North's engagement conditions. <laughs> I gotta give it up to the winter season. We we got a lot of good openings. Like the music has been on point, along with the episodes. So, who the hell said the winter season would be bad? <laughs> So they're holding a competition for the possession of this guy. No offense, but this show is like perfect for feminists. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's about the black hero. So I heard this show was like in the same world, I guess, as Shingeki. I think a few of you guys only remember Shingeki no Bahuma. That was like one of the low-key best shows for fall 2014. Hey, he didn't cheat. Did what he had to do to get out of there. Oh, shit. Look who it is. Is that the girl that ate all the food? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> My AC is acting up, sorry about that. <laughs> Damn. He 
He has to hide in the boys' bathroom. Or is that the boys' restaurant? Oh, that's a... What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Damn, they came in there in a group. Typical. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering what type of room was that? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Damn, my computer is fucking up again. It's always easy to do live reactions on a computer, but still. It's one of the downsides right here. See, they did the same thing in Trinity 7. It's always an undressing scene. Well, it is. It is edgy. Found you. Oh, she is cool as fuck. Damn. Damn, that was cool as hell. Isn't she the quiet one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> that sucks. How can you fall for something like that? Incredible. <laughs> you shouldn't be too bad about that, I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's one of those days. One of those days. And you guys still keep it around? Kind of like how they kept around the, the wand of Lord Voldemort. Oh, I said his name. It's like, why do they keep around the most dangerous shit? <laughs> it's like as a souvenir or something. Could be, but oh, halfway the point. All right. <laughs> he has to do duties. Damn. I don't see one dude in that school. Damn. 
Well, it doesn't have to be that way, right? <laughs> Personal problems. <laughs> Stop. That damn icon. What the hell is that? Hmm. <laughs> oh, damn. She only did that as... See, no. Nah. I thought she was cool at first, but she's just straight smart. <laughs> See, then. Damn. Well... The way it is, I guess. <laughs> Luckily for him, he has a bunch of choices right now. <laughs> Alright, this show is getting random. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Stop. So, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next day. Nothing but gossip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he's only kid in the damn school. He had to be dating somebody. What are those? <laughs> oh, damn. She has so much confidence in this whole thing. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm in control, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, action time. <laughs> well, damn. Can't even walk across the street. Mm. Drag ride. So, oh, wow, you actually want to fight. Here we go. Clash. Shield. It's like a typical sword on online shield. <laughs> Robert, closing. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, damn. They made it easy as hell. They went like straight for the target. <laughs> oh, that's why. The ability to predict the future. Okay. But they came out of nowhere, like. What is this? <laughs> oh, she's the butler? Get out of here. Obviously not. <laughs> Is that a male? It's a guy. Uh oh, competition. Who does this guy look like? He's like somebody from Fairy Tale. Oh shit. Touching your girlfriend. Stop. Tomorrow we will introduce the young man. Forced marriage. Ah. Oh, she denied you, though. <laughs> the weak is undefeated. Oh, wow. <laughs> We can pretty much figure out where this is going to go. Arranged marriage, if you want to call it. Huh. So we're going to have a competition? Well. 
has no choice to do it now. That main character card. <laughs> It's settled. <laughs> and main character card can't allow him to run away. Damn. <laughs> to be continued. Alright. Alright everybody, I just finished watching Unlimited Bahumit Chronicle Episode 3. And for anybody that's interested, like... I am probably going to do reactions for this show every week, maybe, maybe not, just depending on how I feel, you know. I'm just mainly watching this show because it heavily reminded me of Trinity 7, a show that came out during the fall 2014 season. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to give this a try and I'm going to watch it. Maybe I'll do reactions if I have time between my uh, work hours or whatever. And basically, you know, that's what I'm going to do for that. But uh, other than that, this was a pretty decent episode. Of course, it had that good blend of etchy and action and all that stuff. And of course, within that, you know, it had like the typical relationship thing. I mean, it was kind of funny how they had a whole competition like, damn, <laughs> it, if you have the red slip, then you take control of the main character. It's like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of funny stuff this episode. And definitely, of course, we're going to have the rivalry to pretty much get the girl. Typical etchy stuff for this episode, but yeah, it was pretty good. I feel like the main character really isn't like a pushover or anything. It's like, yeah, he's the only guy at that school, but if anything else, like he would actually do whatever it takes to actually get himself out of an awkward situation. But regardless, this show, it seems pretty decent. I mean, like I said, it reminds me of Trinity 7 in many ways with the whole school academy type thing and the characters and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, so far, my favorite girl is definitely the one with the blue hair. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of cool how she kind of laid him out, but she's smart at the same time because she can actually analyze what's going on in a situation. And she's honest, too, and she's like, fuck it, okay, I'm using you. <laughs> but, yeah, like, pretty decent episode, a lot of cool stuff with this anime, but, um... If you guys like this video, hit me up with a like. If you guys have anything to say, hit me up in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to subscribe, you guys know what to do. And I catch you guys around later for that next live reaction of this anime or anything else I'm doing this season. Alright guys, peace. And you guys still keep it around? Kind of like how they kept around the, the wand of Lord Voldemort. Oh, I said his name. It's like, why do they keep around the most dangerous shit? <laughs> it's like yeah, a souvenir or something. Could be, but oh, halfway the point. All right. <laughs> he has to do duties. Damn. I don't see one dude in that school. Well, it doesn't have to be that way, right? <laughs> Personal problem. Like, what? 
the hell is that? Hmm. <laughs> oh, damn. She only did that as... See, no. Nah. I thought she was cool at first, but she's just straight smart. <laughs> See then. Damn. Well. That's the way it is, I guess. Luckily for him, he has a bunch of choices right now. <laughs> what? Alright, this show is getting random. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Oh, damn. Nothing but gossip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he's only kid in the damn school. He had to be dating somebody. Oh, damn. She has so much confidence in this whole thing. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm in control, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Action time. <laughs> well, damn. Can't even walk across the street. Oh, 
Mm. Drag right. So, oh, wow, you actually want to fight. Here we go. Clash. what he had to do to get out of there. <laughs> oh, shit. Look who it is. Is that the girl that ate all the food? Get out of here. <laughs> My AC is acting up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Damn. He has to hide in the boys' bathroom. Or is that the boys' restaurant? Oh, that's a... What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Damn, they came in there in a group. Typical. <laughs> I was, like, I was wondering, what type of room was that? computer is fucking up again. It's always easy to do live reactions on a computer, but still, it's one of the downsides right here. See, they did the same thing in Trinity 7. It's always an undressing scene. Well, it is. It is etchy. Found you. Oh, she is cool as fuck. Damn. Damn, that was cool as hell. Isn't she the quiet one? <laughs> that sucks. How can you fall for something like that? Incredible. You shouldn't be too bad about that, I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's one of those days. One of those days. It's like a typical sword on online shield. <laughs> Robert, closing. Oh.
Gotcha. Oh, damn. They made it easy as hell. They went, like, straight for the target. <laughs> oh, that's why. The ability to predict the future. Okay. But they came out of nowhere, like... What is this? <laughs> oh, she's the butler? Get out of here. Not. <laughs> Is that a male? It's a guy. Uh oh, competition. Who does this guy look like? He's like somebody from Fairy Tale. Oh shit. Touching your girlfriend. Stop. Tomorrow we will introduce the young man. Forced marriage. Ah. Oh, she denied you, though. <laughs> the weakest undefeated. Oh, wow. <laughs> We can pretty much figure out where this is going to go. Arranged marriage, if you want to call it. Huh. So we're going to have a competition? Well, he has no choice to do it now. That main character card. <laughs> it's settled. Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm back with another reaction for Behemoth. We This time we have episode 3. I missed out on episode 2, but I'm back for this reaction and I'm going to try to do a review afterwards. So, let's go. <clears throat> oh, big brother. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Full of females. <laughs> Probably quite unrefined. <laughs> You think? <laughs> this reminds me heavily of Trinity 7. Still, you guys gotta look up that anime. <laughs> Is it Sharte? 
<laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, the food is there, I mean, damn. How come he can't eat it? Hell yeah. You know this is One Piece, like, Luffy would have been ate all that food. <laughs> there you go. Damn. And she's still on the sideline. <laughs> Competition? What the hell? Oh, wow. <laughs> Possession. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Possession. <laughs> it's like, all right. Episode three: The Lady of North's engagement conditions. <laughs> I gotta give it up to the winter season. We we got a lot of good openings. Like the music has been on point, along with the episodes. So, who the hell said the winter season would be bad? <laughs> So they're holding a competition for the possession of this guy. No offense, but this show is like perfect for feminists. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's about the black hero. So I heard this show was like in the same world, I guess, as Shingeki. I think a few of you guys only remember Shingeki Nobuhuma. That was like one of the low-key best shows for fall 2014. 